bring your brolly to this jolly holiday. Whether rain is falling upwards or it never ruins play. It's a carnival of color far as any I can see. So welcome to the glorious and great event of complete. Bring a basket, bring a bundle, bring a beer or maybe ten. Bring your searches so that we can get you home. This dreadful oink before us with his chorus and defensible To speaking English so they all completely comprehensible For that matter we've a pattern truly very sensible The dialect they utter is a bit incomprehensible They say that I'll be beaten, I'm a rift of overreality Some say the English never win, they lacking in ability This dreadful oink is handed in his hide and has the Highlander This dreadful oink is best advice, I saw the comfortability Look here, old man. 
Isn't it time for a spot of tiffin? Now, can't fight on an empty stomach now, can we? Have a weak bite, though I have to watch my weight. Nothing too heavy. It will send me off my game. Spiffin, and we fight after lunch. <laughs> Magnificent, aren't they? But they don't seem that much bothered about fighting. They never are. I've always thought unicorns were fabulous monsters. I never believe in them. I dare say they don't believe in you either. Such a creature of darkness. It came straight down at us. Its eyes. Did you see its eyes? It must be a creature of the Drag Queen's beating. She knows that we have broken through the wall, and in her desperation, she will be turning her eyes this way. That horrible thing is looking for us. We have had a narrow escape, my lady. We must take off her and rethink our strategy. It's the best to carry onward before it returns. What sort of place is this that has such creatures in it? It is not the place I used to know, my ladies. It's a creature of darkness. Drink up and spat out at us. And where are we going? We have a better chance of surviving if we do not follow the path. And in return, we have to take cover. How very peculiar. How did he get from there to here so fast? There are two, my lady. Two identical in every way. How very odd. Not odd, a complete pair. The thing we're at Rexford ought to pay you now. Contrary wise, if you think we're alive, we ought to speak. That great flapping monstrosity has been circling here all morning. I'm sure it's after my brand new rattle. Uh, it's not a crow, I'm pretty sure of that. Contrary wise. What you don't know is quite a bit more than what you do. What you are sure is a short bet that you surely aren't sure. I know what you're thinking, but isn't so. No how. Contrary-wise, if it was so, it might be. And if it were so, it would be. But as it isn't, it ain't. That's logic. Uh, I was thinking which is the best way to the Red Palace. <coughs> My lady, I'm not sure they don't know about it. I have an idea. And I have too. There you go again, sibling rivalry. He hasn't an idea at all. He's only saying that because I have the only idea there is. So do you know the way or not? There's hundreds of ways, but which is the right way? That's my idea. You wrote Tom Roscallion, that was my idea. I said it first, I think you'll find it's mine. Contrary wise, the rules of copyright are concrete. I will have my lawyer look into it. Look into what? Look into this. There, who's that? That's me. Thank goodness for that. I thought it was me. But you're both identical. How, How dare, dare you? you? We are as, as different as, as two peas in a pod. The saying is as alike as two peas in a pod. Peas are a different matter. What you know about peas could be written on the head of a pin. So do you know the way to the Red Palace or not? Which way is that? Are you listening to me? I was then. How about you start again? It really is very tiresome, you know. 
I'm big awake all night thinking about my brand new rattle. <laughs> a rattle? For a big boy like you? It is a very nice rattle. Anyhow, who are you to judge? You're nothing but a figment. A figment? A figment. What do you think the Red King is dreaming about? The Red King? What has he to do with this? The Red King has everything to do with this. He has everything to do with everything. Answer the question. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. What do you think the Red King is dreaming about? Nobody can guess that. Why? About you. He's dreaming about you. And where do you think he will be left off if he's dreaming, left off dreaming about you? Why? Where I am now, of course. He will be nowhere. You are only a sort of things in his dream. And if the Red King was to wait, you go out, bang, like a candle. Uh, I shouldn't. And in fact, if I'm the only thing in his dream, what are you? I should like to know. Ditto! Ditto, ditto! Hush! You're loud enough to wake the Red King! Well, it's no use talking about waking him. You're only one of the things in his dream. You know very well, you, you know very well you're not real. I am real and you're talking nonsense. Nonsense? Why? This is pure logic. I have an education, you know. But if it's a good education, that depends on how you look onto it. And how do you look onto it? Like this. Hmm, very interesting. What is? I can see what you're up to. And what am I up to? You're up to about five foot. Now then, where's that rattle? You. Me? You look very suspicious. That's the sort that would cover another boy's rattle. Where is it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Nobody ever does. Do you see that? It's a rattle, not a rattlesnake. It's just an old rattle, quite old and broken. I knew it was. It's quite spoiled, of course. Why, you slow and slice of scoundrel? I'll beat you black and blue. I suppose so. <laughs> There's no reason to be so angry about an old rattle. It isn't old, and well, you know it. It's new, it's new. I bought it only yesterday. My nice new rattle. Well, there's no use crying over spilled milk. Spilled milk? Don't change the subject. Of course, you agree to have a battle. I suppose so. Get my armor. Armor? Of course. What have you got there? Wait. There's not a moment to lose. That monstrous crow could be back at any moment. Here, help me on with this. Put this around my neck. You will stop my head coming off. You know, it's one of the most serious things that could have possibly happened and won in a battle. To have one head cut off. Do I look very pale? Yes, a little. I'm very brave generally. Only today, I happen to have a headache. And I have a toothache. I'm far worse off than you. Then you'd better not fight today. We must have a bit of a fight, but I don't care about it going on too long. What time is it? Half past four. Let's fight till six and then have dinner. Very well, and you can watch us, but don't come too close. I generally hit everything I can see. And I hit everything within reach. Oh, this is so silly, all over a little rattle. People have four over less. Besides, on the one hand, I'm right, and on the other hand, he's right. Contrarywise, I'm in the right, and so is he. You're confusing me. It's really very simple. Contrarywise, it's pretty straightforward. There are two sides to every argument. There is always a fight over who's in the right, you know. There are two sides to every argument. As a furious fight over, over, I can show. Pot. There are two sides to every argument. We're at the 
song is not peculiar to us. Contrary, right? We're very peculiar. The slightest thing can start a battle, you know, and every argument seems the right one at a time. As any nation you care to choose. You're contradicting your own argument. It's, it's our, our argument. argument. We, we can do what we wish. Time is in that. Hide yourself. Concern yourself with me, my lady. I have done my duty. We all have our destiny. We all have our time, and mine is almost done. I don't understand. In time, you will know the wonders I've seen. You will know the knowledge I have gained. Are you leaving me? I must. The end is near. This is what I'm waiting for. I have last glorious cross. I must bid you farewell, my lady. But what am I to do? Where am I to go? Your battle is almost over. I have done my best for you. I can do no more. No more. But what am I to do? Where am I to go? 
We all have our own paths, and mine is where yonder lies. Hairs be on foot, fill a blazing sun outside upon this road. Let me find the stress you face, my final quest. And yonder in the field of glory I will rest Ain't no dragon, troll, and demons I have borne the battles God Ever seeking for the answers I have searched your silent stars Life is for the changing season Never look for rhyme or reason Nothing when and things are simply what they are Talk of nighty deed is over All things done I went my way Ever onward to my resting Far from dark and dreadful prey Life is for the changing season Never look for rhyme or dreams You will find your dialect Everything Here the light of day is finding Yonder there outside around the bend Yonder there I know that I'll be finding all the glory that happened at journey's end. But are you leaving me? Kill me? You will never be alone, my lady. You have just a few yards to go down to the hill and over that little brook, and then you shall be a queen. But stay and see Arthur's. I shan't be long. We wave your handkerchief and I get to that turning in the road. I think it will encourage me. Which turning? Can't you see it? It burns so bright. Uh, you should rest. Cross the silver lily, call me, calling softly to my ear. Sound of trumpet, cloud victories, dry on silvers, oh my ear. My lips are the changing season, never look for rhyme or reason. Take my hand, my lady, for my time is here. Always know my soul was death, as always know my soul was too. Ever needing over courage, when my lady, I had you. Life is for the changing season, never look for rhyme or reason. You, my lady, may this foolish world since clear. Yonder there, where the light of day is blinding. Yonder there, outside around the bend. Yonder there, I know that I'll be finding all the glory I have imagined. Daylight, my soul tears of wonder. Wounds are healed and battles done. I can rest in jelly metal. Now the endless war is won. Life is but a changing season. Never look for rhyme or reason. One tale finished, new one just be. Yonder there I shall watch you ride to glory Yonder there out of sight around the bend Yonder there is the ending to our story My 
protector, you can rest at your knees and... <gasps> You're not leaving me? Come, my dear, he has served you well. Uh, I'm not leaving him. Then his battle will have been in vain. He died in the way he would have wished, protecting the one he held most dear. But I should have never come here. I... This is all my fault. You're here for a reason, Alice. Yes, I know your name. We've known your name for a long time. Your friend here knew who he was escorting, and he did it of his own free will. He knew that you are our only chance. But everything seems to be against me. Too many people have been hurt. And a great many more will suffer if you do not move onward. Alice, time will not wait for you to dawdle here. You're a queen. Why don't you stop all this? I've been away from my throne for far too long. My power is all but gone. And I have none at all. You have much more than you think. When the time comes, you will know what to do. The king told me to seek you out. Why? My husband is alive? You've seen him? Oh, thank heavens, thank heavens! Uh, why did he tell me to find you? <gasps> my baby! What the have they done to you? You, you did this. You had that pile of scrap metal. You had to roll for this. I shall find a bloodless axe that will hack and hack that pretty little neck of yours. Execution! Execution! You know the rules. Even one as twisted as you knows the rules cannot be broken however badly you play the game. Silence! You have no jurisdiction here. You gave up that right when you went into hiding. Whatever I did, I did for this day. Alice challenges the crown. How dare she? How dare she? She has no right. She's common, small, and insignificant. However insignificant she is, she still has the right to challenge you. Challenge me? Can you see me, girl? Aren't you overawed? Aren't you shaking in your boots? Aren't you up trembling? And can't you see the sheer fertility of your journey here? I am queen, and my word is law. I've only had to mention an atrocity, and it is done. Do you know what I'm capable of? What I've done? Your tip hawk I've in here has already suffered the consequences of my wrath. I challenge the crown. <gasps> you will rule that moment you ever open your mouth. Take her, take her word away. And as for you, I have something really drawn out and painful for you before your head goes on the block. Your threats mean nothing to me. You're more afraid of Alice than she is of you. And you know why? You've been waiting for the prophecy to come true. An ant can topple a tree. Take her, take her away. Take them both away. Have these bodies burnt. <laughs>